Hello, hello! Welcome fucking back, bitches. A long time no see. I'm a little sick right now as well, so if my voice sounds a little fucked, that's why. But I'm so excited and happy to be fucking sitting here and making a YouTube video. It just feels right, you know what I'm saying? So today is Saturday, February 17th, 2.25 a.m. I have a lot of stuff to catch you guys up on. Obviously, I mean, I haven't posted on here in a year, but we'll talk about that, we'll talk about that. Give me one moment, we're gonna start rolling up and we'll get into it. I have a bunch of questions from you guys to give you guys some advice just to like, kind of ease my way back into things. And I'm, I'm just so fucking excited. Like, what the fuck is going on, you guys? Like, hey, what's happening? I was eating a fucking muffin, so I have that wrapper. So last I saw you guys, I think was for my like vision board manifestation video. I don't even know what the fuck the last thing that like I told you guys was going on in my life. Um, and I can make like a longer video about that. I don't even want to make like a full video about that, but like. Maybe like in a makeup tutorial or something where I can like really, really talk about things. But for now I'll keep it short, simple, and sweet and I'll just let you know an overview of what I've been doing like work-wise. There's just some heavy shit that like I can't start off a video talking about so let, let's just have a happy video. So I got some Blazy Susies. I'm such a fucking ninny though and these are like really small cones. So that's the only thing that's annoying. Oh, and then I'm also a wee bit sicky. Honestly, I really shouldn't even be fucking smoking, but you guys know me. Yeah, so basically I think one of the last things I talked about is when I had first started like a new bottle serving job. I actually left that job. I was there for a while. Um, I left there in August, so I got hired in January. Or beginning of February I don't know all of it's like popping up in my freaking memories right now but I was working there for a while bottle serving and I really liked it and realized like how much I liked bottle serving and like how much money I could make and then I definitely wanted to keep doing that but just for certain reasons I quit after like seven months I think I'm not even counting of being there and I kind of just on a whim Went to this other hiring event at this club called Noto in Philadelphia. It's a nightclub. And I got hired and I was so happy about it. That was in August. I mean, it's now the middle of February. So I've basically been there six months, which is fucking insane. I love working um, at a nightclub and I specifically love Noto. Um, I love my coworkers and my managers and everyone's so fucking nice. and. Yeah, so I've been doing that, and um, I've still been at Hooters, too. I'm getting a little over it, if I'm really honest with you. And I'm getting back into acting. I've got some headshots coming up, like, within the next few weeks. Um, I recently went on an audition. Um, what the fuck else have I been doing? I was just in L.A. I was just in Florida. There's been a lot of shit going on. I'm, I'm still celibate. Hey, how are you, bitch? What the fuck? But yeah, those are just some brief, quick updates on me um, at the current moment in time. Just, you know, briefly. I have been in the gym a lot because <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm telling you these random things, especially because of like my last video being like a vision board for like the next year, and it's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to do all the shit that I said I would do, so. That's the tea. As of right now, lots of other stuff, lots of other ground to cover, obviously. But, like I said, that'll be for a later date. Unfortunately, this is how small <laughs> these joints are. Like, what the F-U-C fucking K is this? Whatever. I'll, if, I'll probably roll another one. Let's just get started with some motherfucking questions. Right, I got some questions. Thank you to anyone that submitted. I had my assistant check them out. That was just me earlier. <laughs> um, and let's fucking get to it, bitch. Let's back up. Cheersies. 
Wow. I, I just literally got the chills. I'm actually, I'm not even being sarcastic, like, I really feel like right now I'm on the right path. And I keep getting reminded of it. And I'm like, I go a little off, like I get nudged back in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? First question we have, how to stay motivated with work when you're going through a breakup. I actually think that breakups <laughs> fueled my like work obsession. I was like, let me stop being obsessed with fucking people. And let me distract myself with something that's actually beneficial for me. And that was fucking working for me, bitch. So, I don't know. Think of it like that. Think of it as a fucking distraction. Like, if it's slow at work, like, for me, then I'm thinking. But if it's super, super busy, bitch, I don't have a second to even fucking think about what the fuck his name was. Maybe, maybe you need a more fast-paced environment in working to kind of get your mind off things. Do you ever heal from a soul tie? Do you ever heal from a soul tie breakup is how the question is phrased. I say, like, oh, I don't believe in that. But at the same time, I mean, clearly if I'm celibate, um, I haven't always been celibate, obviously. I used to be a slur, which is fine. But, not a slur, but, like, you know what I mean, like, whatever. It, we don't even have to get into it. And clearly, like, I think having sex with someone means a lot. Um... I don't think that genuinely, like, your souls are tied. I just sometimes think that people ruminate on certain thoughts or ideas of what could be. And, like, that's the issue. It's, like, the ruminating on one thought. I don't think that you're just obsessed because you had sex with somebody. I mean, that could be the case, but... Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really freaking believe in soul ties. Do you find it hard working multiple jobs because you're so consistent you make it look easy? Well, thank ya. Um, no, but it is not easy working multiple jobs. Um, there's a lot of times where I don't sleep or I'll like randomly pick up shifts like last minute and like I'm working seven days straight. Um, it's not always easy but uh, definitely beneficial for me right now like where I'm living and this time period of my life. I don't always want to have multiple jobs, but it seems to be that that's what my life is going to look like. It's going to be a little entrepreneurial. Hello? Entrepreneurial. You guys know what I mean. Just because of like, I want to do so many fucking things. But yeah. The balance is hard to find sometimes. But if you find it, then you're chilling. I cheated on a man and regret it. It's been five months. How do I move on? Well. I have never cheated on anybody. I actually... We could get into it at a different time. But I have like a really... I do not like um, cheating. <laughs> I'll just say that. I don't fucking like it. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, first, accept what you did. <laughs> you did do something wrong. Maybe ask for forgiveness from the person and try and work on forgiving yourself. If I had to think logically about it. And then she also said, because these are questions all from the same girl, she said, can you please do some more vlogs? Of course I can. I was filming an LA vlog that got disrupted. And that's another thing that like, I can't really speak about right now. And I'll speak on that maybe later. Maybe never, I don't know. But something happened and I stopped vlogging when I was there. So like the vlog doesn't really make sense now. What are qualities you look for in a partner? Someone who's funny, someone who not like makes me feel like an idiot, but just like, I like a smart guy. Like I want you to be knowledgeable about things and life and be able to teach me shit. <laughs> Ew. Sorry about the snotty nose. A guy who's ambitious, hardworking, um, has a moral compass. You know what I fucking mean? Just a good fucking guy. 
That's my fucking type. A good fucking hottie with a nice ass body. Why are you so gorgeous? Guys, please calm down. Um, this is actually so cute. One of my uh, coworkers <laughs> wrote this question and I thought it was silly. She said, what made you get into acting? Well, so glad you asked. Um, <laughs> basically, I've been, well, ever since I was like a tiny, tiny, tiny tot, like this big, I was always like so obsessed with movies. Like literally at like five years old, I would like beg my parents to re-put on certain movies that I liked because I was just so obsessed with movies. And every single time I watched a movie, of course, as any little kid does, like they get immersed in it and like, I just felt like there was something magical about movies. And I started doing acting classes actually when I was pretty young. God, I don't even know how old I was. I had to be like five or six. And I was like doing plays and stuff and whatever and I did dance. And I just like kept up with it. And like in my schools, I would always be in theater, in drama club. It's just my favorite thing in the world. I don't even know how to describe it. Um, and it literally terrifies the fuck out of me. Don't get me mis- Oop, my broken nail. Don't get me mistaken there. But I think that's one of the best things. Something that scares you, but you absolutely freaking love it. So, I mean, I knew from a very early age that, like, there was nothing I wanted to do other than be an actress in this world. Or make videos because I started my videos very very young as well yeah both topics make me slightly emotional to speak on for whatever reason I just love them so much um and in high school I remember when I was getting ready to look at colleges I was like um well I'm not going to college and if I'm going to college I didn't want to go to college because I wanted to just immediately start acting but I was like if I'm gonna go to college it has to be an acting college and I like set my sights on the American Academy of Dramatic Arts because my grandma had been accepted there but then she didn't go and my mom was accepted there and then she didn't go for whatever fucking reason I wanted to go there and my grandma was like you will absolutely be able to do whatever the hell you want and I know that you can get into one of those schools she's like my biggest supporter especially for my acting and just like my videos we ended up finding out about this school called AMDA, the American Musical and Dramatic Academy College and Conservatory now. And I found out about them and they were literally listed as like the number one acting college in the country um, or performing arts college in the country. Um, and what stood out to me about the school was that the teachers all had to work in the industry to keep their job as being a teacher. So like they're actually hands on with everything, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, and then I went to AMDA. That's that. How do you keep the motivation to constantly keep pushing forward? I feel so stuck in life. I will say that probably since the last time you guys have seen me, I have done a lot better in terms of kind of getting myself out of a rut and not like thinking myself into a negative headspace. How do you keep pushing forward even when you're so tired and you're sad and horrible things have happened and you don't know what the fuck else to do? Like the only option is to keep going forward. It's either that or you're miserable and you just stay right here. Now, as in terms of feeling actually stuck, I relate to that so much and I feel like have expressed to like my friends and family oftentimes like how I have felt like that as well. Just because I felt like I should have already been doing this and I should have been doing that and like I should be here and you know what I mean? Like, grass is always greener on the fucking other side, man. But everything happens for a reason and sometimes you gotta look at the glass half full and be like you know what maybe i'm supposed to be here right now like maybe things didn't exactly haven't worked out how i planned but maybe in the grand scheme of things 
they're supposed to go this way and it'll lead me to something even better or maybe lead you to exactly what you've always been fucking wanting anyways just maybe the journey to it doesn't look like it something you would tell your 18 year old self oh my god i would tell my 18 year old self to fucking live it up bitch but also absorb every single fucking second and to not waste my time on stupid fucking lean men and to keep my eye on the prize my favorite way to smoke is crack i'm just kidding <laughs> my favorite way to smoke is cones a thousand percent so easy you just gotta pack those bitches and yeah i don't like tobacco favorite song okay well i'm like the most indecisive person in the whole entire fucking world so we're just gonna do my favorite song right now my favorite song right now is whatever she wants by bryson tiller and bang the bus by maxo cream those are my two top two right now favorite childhood memory oh my goodness i have a lot but oh either just like memories when like my grandma had an rv and like we would go <laughs> to like the campgrounds and like stay with my grandma and like play badminton with her and like stay up really late in the summer and watch like fear factor and drink her iced tea that she would make that's like some of my favorite childhood memories and then like definitely like when i was way younger like all of us going to haunted houses and stuff like that like me and all my family my family and i hello i care too much about what people think of me especially loved ones advice I understand. I understand. Sometimes I get really caught up in my head about what others think of me as well. I'm like, well, great. Cool. Let's say to start doing things that you feel proud of. Um, that way it won't really matter what the fuck else anyone else thinks. If you feel good about the shit that you're doing. You know what I mean? Start off by just kind of focusing on that. And try to like hone in and learn that like no matter what anyone else's opinion of you is like they're not you <laughs> so like at the end of the day it really doesn't matter what the fuck they think about you or what the fuck they have to say about you because like I said they're not you tell them to get the fuck off your back that you're trying your fucking best and that you don't want to hear shit <laughs> what's something that motivates you every day literally just like my goals i think one of my biggest motivations is just like i imagine like working every single day on like film sets and like sound stages that's like i just like picture it in my mind and i'm like ah oh, it's all for that one day i will achieve it <laughs> And, like, even with my, like, videos and stuff, I feel like I just kind of imagine, like, an older version of myself, like, not having to have a million fucking jobs. <laughs> and, like, I can just, like, you know what I mean, post my videos and kind of be chilling off of that, you know what I mean? Do you want kids in the future? Mm. This is an interesting one. I've always been a person that said, like, no, I don't want kids and, like, whatever. But then, like, I don't know. Maybe I could just, like, lay an egg and, like, have a child. I think I just, one of my biggest fears is, like, having a child and, like, it's just, like, not going to work out, like, with the person that you have the child with. And then also, actually, my bigger fear is dying in childbirth. Sorry to bring that harsh topic up, but that's true. I'm so afraid of it, but then I think like a little tiny me, like a little tiny, hmm. but I have a lot of things that I want to achieve in my life first, I'm just not at that stage of my life yet, so for me to have children I would have to have done a lot of the things that I want to fucking do. Children are a huge commitment, a lifelong commitment, you know what I'm saying? What's something positive you learned from a past relationship? 
I feel like, sorry, I'm eating fucking tortilla chips from Chipotle earlier. I have learned that you can't control people. You cannot control outcomes. I think my past with guys has taught me that like, no matter how I try and act or be or look, I'm never gonna be perfect. And guys can fucking see right through that. I feel like in the past I was so afraid to like really, truly be myself around people because I just thought they wouldn't like me, honestly. This might be a long answer, sorry. Like, y'all know I love to get deep with everything because I'm just fucking annoying. This is so random. This is like a realization I've come to like rather lately or as of late. Um, that I'm not like the most physically touchy person. Like, I have like a weird issue with that. I don't really like to be touched that much by other people. Like, I'm a big hugger and I'll like hold your arm like this when we walk. But like, I don't really go out of my way to touch others that much. And I don't like being touched really but I find now that like I think back on past things and I'm like I wish I would have expressed more how much I liked people like with being more like lovey-dovey and more like you know what I mean I don't know but I think it just taught me like bitch like everyone's gonna leave anyway you might as well just like do whatever the hell you want to do and like stop getting scared that you're gonna fucking scare everyone away they're already gonna leave anyways like because that's just a fact of fucking life maybe not everybody but you know most people come in and out of your life and you just meet new people that's like what happens a lot of the times what are two things still on your bucket list mm. Them. two things still on my bucket list well there's so much that I haven't done like I think one of the biggest things on my bucket list is just like leave the country I've traveled all over the US but I've never left the country is it horrible to say that on my bucket list I desire like a romance novel type love in my lifetime at least once just to see you know what I mean like hey can I get a little piece of that you know what I'm saying that would be a nice that would be nice I just have a feeling in my heart of hearts that I just like will never find a man that truly loves me that is a side note for another video um like what are we talking about you guys this is getting too real it's three o'clock in the morning okay last question Story time of your first kiss, LMAO. I love you so much. I'm so happy you're doing a YouTube video. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Um, my first kiss was fucking awful. I think I was going into my sophomore year of high school. It was like the summer in between. I was like quite a little prudy duty pooty. We went to the boardwalk one time and there was like a bunch of us, like my friends and like some guys. And there was this one boy that I thought was cute. I, I don't even remember how it happened, but we just like split off from the group. And we went onto the beach at nighttime. Went underneath the boardwalk. I'm literally disgusted even telling you this. Underneath the fucking boardwalk. And this boy literally starts slobbering over my face and trying to stick his tongue down my throat. To this day, if you try to kiss me, please don't stick your fucking disgusting ass, slimy ass tongue in my mouth. I will spit on you. That is fucking nasty. Just a little, little tongue action is fine. But crazy tongue action is fucking disgusting like i'm sorry you heard it here first that's just my personal humble opinion that's actually my worst nightmare that is my worst nightmare anyways um how did we get here oh and his bre breath fucking reeked like a can of bounce that ass um and yeah it was just a really horrible experience overall and then oh my god 
god it was just so disgusting like i was gonna tell you even uh, another side note but it's just so fucking nasty like we don't even need to get into it um and yeah now that guy looks like he's actually 60 years old and we're the same age r.i.p him i don't know what the fuck happened poor guy um but yeah shit is that really it i feel like this is gonna be like a lot shorter than like my other videos because i did post my little questions guy very fucking late Anyways, if you don't follow me on TikTok, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Go follow my Tiki Taki, Amanda Cardinal 17. Uh, Amanda Cardinal 17 on Instagram, bitch. I'm Amanda Cardinal 17 everywhere. Might as well tattoo that shit on my ass cheek at this fucking point. Just know, I've been going through it, but listen, at the end of the day, I'm still fucking alive, and that's something to celebrate. So, I love you guys so much. Thank you for just fucking with me literally just thank you like what the fuck thanks <laughs> like you don't have to do that and you do and i appreciate that <laughs> have a wonderful fucking day night evening afternoon i don't fucking know um also just as a side note you guys should go watch desperate housewives it's my favorite fucking thing in the world as of late it's just i'm so obsessed with desperate housewives and i have like two seasons left and i'm sick I love you so so much. Please comment below uh, what kind of content you want to see from me. What videos you want to see from me. That's the same fucking thing. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm high. I'm congested. I'm fucking tired. I'm hungry. It's 3.08 a.m. I gotta go. Love ya. Bye bye.